What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Matt. Uh, today is going to be a fun project. I don't know why. It's a nice day out. It's cold, but it's nice. They called us off of work, which I am fine with because that means I get some time to work on my projects. So we're going to go down to the church and we are going to get ready to do the next phase of the foundation wall, which entails obviously ripping out the bad foundation wall, forming it up and pouring a new wall. But in order to do that, I've got to rip off that old addition onto the church, which is the bathrooms. So that'll be fun. We got some uh, wood and debris, you know, the old rotten roof to rip off of there, a block structure, and probably smash some toilets. So guys, down in the comments, I get a lot of repeat questions, and I love you guys' questions and uh, comments and suggestions and all that stuff, so don't stop commenting. In fact, comment more <laughs> if you guys got anything. Ask me in the comments. I do my best to respond to all my comments. Uh, as the channel grows, it gets harder, but I'm still doing my best to do that now. Anyway, I get a lot of repeat questions, though, like, what are you doing with the church? Uh, why do you do this or that? Or what, what's the rest of the building look like? That kind of thing. Go back. There's a link right here in the top right-hand corner. Click that. That'll take you to the playlist that has the rest of the videos from the church series in it. You can watch that from the beginning, and that'll answer a lot of those questions. The big idea here right now is I'm going to take the hoe here and I'm going to rip down all these little scraggly trees that are uh, pretty close to the building here. If, if you're familiar with building maintenance at all, the further you can keep stuff like this away from the building the better because in the fall the leaves and everything clog up your gutters and it just brings critters and everything closer so you want a nice, uh, nice big buffer around your building from all the trees and whatnot. So we'll clear this all out and it eventually it'll all be a yard. But I'm going to stack all the brush back here for right now until I can uh, haul it off. This side over here, there's a, we call them paper alleyways, but it's like, if you look at the original plans at the uh, municipal building, it'll have this little piece of land here. I think it's 10 or 20 foot wide uh, strip of land that's technically not owned by anybody but the township or the borough or whoever it is but it's for public use for accessing uh, lots. So that's what this is here. It's just all grown up. And I talked to the neighbor. He said he was good with me taking down these trees. So we're gonna take down these right now. I had this hard leaner here that was uh, hanging over my power wire. I tried to log her weighted over here and drop it past the corner, but she come up short. Story of my life, but no biggie. I can just take it with a hoe and lift it right up off my power wire and set it over here so let's get to it
So when I bought this place, I was kind of curious. I know it's not tied into the new sewage system, you know, the under the road goes into a pipe, goes into a uh, uh, sewage treatment plant kind of sewage line. Back in the day around here, most places in our area just dumped their sewage into the creek. That was the normal, um, yeah. So we've come a long way since then and a lot of people had septic tanks, but this building being so old, I didn't figure would have one and everybody else told me would not have one, but there it is. I found it by accident. Now it does spill over into the creek, but it comes here first. I was wondering if there was one here and I was kind of surprised I hadn't fallen through it yet if there was. I found it. I got everything prepped and ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna seal off the entrances that come into this addition after we rip it off there, because I was thinking there's a good chance that I'll smash them or mess them up or something while I'm ripping this off. So we'll just do it afterwards, it'll be easier anyway. But uh, let's get ripping and tearing.
Okay, here we are a few days later. All the mess is cleaned up. Well, the mess is contained. Uh, I sealed up my doorway entrances here. This one's gonna get poured concrete next. And uh, eventually I'm gonna haul off all this debris. The block debris here will go into filling in this septic tank that I uncovered here, clearing these trees away. So I'll open that all up and then take the block, put them in the hole and pack them in there real tight. And then this stuff here will probably stay here until I get a dumpster here to start gutting the place. And then I'll just load this all into a dumpster rather than try and mess with loading it in a dump truck and hauling it to the landfill and all that. Uh, it's just gonna be easier to get dumpsters because there's probably one load right there. So I just get a dumpster. Yep, turned out well. Didn't bring down the building in the process. So I'm happy. It's a pain separating those blocks though. So there it is guys, that's this week's video. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of the things that I get into with this church, the auto car, all my heavy equipment. Get into lots of cool stuff and there's gonna be a ton more awesome content coming this summer. So, I'll catch you next week, later.